Hello there. I'm going to talk to you about board four of the duplicate Andrew Robson Bridge online duplicate with BBO. Hope you've been playing lots. You're more than welcome wherever you live in the world, whether you're a a very experienced player or a much less experienced player. You're more than welcome. Nice, gentle, friendly duplicates. In fact, gentle with a capital G every afternoon at 2.30. Do come along and play. And hopefully also, many of you will be watching my daily bridge casts, my intermediate or advanced or, or indeed beginner bridge casts. So this is an interesting board. A typical battleground competitive auction. West deals. West doesn't quite have an opening bid. Close though. Pass. North passes. Now East in third chair vulnerable. There is a case for opening that hand one heart rather than a weak no trump. Because you can pass your partner's response. You wouldn't be able to open that hand one heart if your partner wasn't a passed hand because you'd have to find a rebid. But here you could pass partner's response. So there is a case for one heart. Good lead directional value to the bid as well. But let's say you open one no trump. South is passing. But South does have a plan because with a void heart, it's very likely the opponents are going to do a transfer out into hearts as indeed is the case. West two diamonds, transfer to hearts. North is very close to a lead directing double here. Very close. Very close. If the eight of diamonds was the nine, I'd do it. Pass. If East had a maximum with four card hearts, East would go three hearts. Here, East goes two hearts. South, now, as planned, take out double. Now West has a pretty good hand, a maximum passed hand. From West's perspective, this is East-West's deal. They have the balance of strength. So West's correct call here is the very underused redouble, announcing ownership of the deal. Well, North goes three diamonds. East with the four good hearts, emboldened by partner's redouble. Three hearts. Tempting for South to go four diamonds, but four over three with only four cards in diamonds. Pass. Pass. But things are different for North. The very interesting feature of the North hand is the four low hearts. North knows from East-West bidding that partner has at most one heart, may have a void if East really has four card hearts to go three hearts, but at most one. So if diamonds are trumps, the opposing 10 high card points in hearts will win only one trick. So the hand's going to play really, really well in diamonds. Four diamonds, says North. North expects to be doubled, but North thinks they've got a pretty good chance of making it. Pass from east, pass from south. So now it's back to west. Now, from west perspective, north-south are stealing. West expected their partnership to make three hearts. So west is going to make a typical, aggressive match point double. Trying to convert plus 100 for four diamonds, minus one undoubled into plus 200 four diamonds, down one, doubled, and so overtake the 140 or so points that West expected their team to win in a heart part score. Typical match point double. If you haven't doubled the opponents into game all year, you're not doubling enough, especially at duplicate pairs. West protecting their plus score there with the double. Pass, pass, pass. So this is top or bottom stuff. It's East's lead. Now, in general, when your side have doubled an opposing part score on strength, you should lead a trump. 
I think he should lead a five of diamonds here. I don't think it's likely that that's costing East a natural trick because Declare is likely to read the diamond layout. Cutting down roughs is imperative. So, Declara, try the nine, wins. So we're in dummy, and now we can work on the long club suit. As usual, working on the long side suit. First job. Three of clubs. Second hand low. Queen of clubs. Five of clubs. Fine. And now back the two of clubs. Jack appears. Okay, good. Right. King. Ace. The nine and the eight of clubs now form a roughing finesse position. There's nothing particularly good for West to do at this juncture. Let's say West switches. Looks probably best to the seven of spades. So we are going to go up with the ace of spades. Now there are one or two different ways home here for Declara. Here's a nice way home, quite clinical, doesn't get too messy. Essentially drawing trumps, finishing in dummy with the ace of diamonds. And now we're going to use that 9-8 of clubs roughing finesse position. If West covers, we can rough and the 8 is good. If West plays low, we can throw a loser from hand. Doesn't matter what we throw, let's say we throw the spade. And we wouldn't mind if East won this trick either, because then Dummy's two clubs would both be winners. But actually, the nine of clubs wins, and now we can rough a club to set up Dummy's long club. Away goes West's ten of clubs, we rough, and now we're bound to win three more tricks. Roughing a heart with Dummy's last diamond, cashing the long club. And we've got to win our remaining diamond, haven't we? There we are. Boom. Made it. We give up the last two tricks. There were other routes to ten tricks as well. There was no way to beat this. So do you think West's double of four diamonds was, was poorly judged? I think it was a pretty good double, actually, because I reckon north-south plus 130 points for making four diamonds undoubled is going to be a very, very good score for north-south and a very, very mouldy score for east-west. It was almost a free double in the sense that four diamonds making maybe 15% of the match points, four diamonds doubled making 0%. So west's double costs only about 15% of the match points. So it's a typical match point double. But if four diamonds doubled had gone one down, that double would have then made a huge difference, turning 100 into 200 and thereby overtaking the value of the heart part score. So a typical competitive battleground auction at duplicate pairs. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Mm -hmm.